say it's Sabi Nigeria music, old school or new school. Come show yourself for Gusto gets the song. You go win better, better. Call the number where they appear for your screen. So, Nigeria music, come win money. Hello guys, welcome to another beautiful time on Gusto News. This is the start of another amazing week. And trust me, yeah, we did give you guys back to back on all that is happening. Uh, yes, around music. And trust me, there will be BBN, you know, updates in between. So guys, welcome to... This is Gusto TV, and of course, I am Ifeo Lua. Today on the news, I've got Big Wiz, Whiskey, they also have Loje. I'll be ending it with the Malian president, Naira Mali. But trust me to always say thank you. Thank you so much for all you guys do for us, for the likes, the comments. You know, some people come up to tell us, oh, this and that has happened, this and that. Are you aware? Thank you so much. And for those of you new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell because that helps to notify you. Uh, whenever we drop a new video or whenever we're going live so yes uh, today on the news i'll be starting with um loje loje of course as well is one of those new things that broke out of nigerian music industry uh good to say this year uh, we saw tonongo first and then it came around with um, the love and attention um ep of course that is part of it but uh, he did agree that one of the biggest songs in the country at this point uh, for a while now has been Mona Lisa. A lot of ladies are fan of that song. Quite a very interesting one. He has released a video to it. Uh, very, very interesting. And of course, you know, the EP says um, Loje uh, Excess Future Whiskey. Yes, of course, that was one of those things that gave the EP quite a good number of attention. I mean, it was on number one position the week uh, it came up and been doing so well on the um, charts here in Nigeria. Um, well, of course, the name there says um, Loje and X Sass feature Whiskey. Okay, Whiskey was the only featured artist on this particular project. Well, of course, it says Loje X Sass. And whatever you've seen from the song or in streaming platform, you did always see Loje X Sass. So this, of course, might have been bringing a lot of questions to people. Like, is it under Sass? Is Sass... Uh, does Sass now run a record label that Luigi happens to be one of his artists and all of Yes, Sass is known to be quite one of the biggest and quite the phenomenal producers we have here in Nigeria. So yes, just as you know, Instagram has been one of the main people get to ask celebrities. They cannot sit one-on-one -on -one to ask certain questions from. And then whenever they have the whole question and answer session on IG, fans use it as a good platform to ask about questions that have been bit, you know, biting them up concerning the artist. It goes on to say, are you signed um, by Sass Bit? And he said, okay, I see him always with you. He went on to say, nope. So he's not signed um, with um, Sass, yes. And of course, that is one thing that came probably a shock to so many people. But of course, he went on to say no. But who he signed with, he didn't go on to give further um, information on that one. So now moving on to the next on this news is Big Wiz. Whiskey, of course, is on Loji's um, EP Love and Attention featured Whiskey. That, that was one of those things that, you know, himself, when he saw the video, we could see the video the day the EP was released. Yes, so how shocked he was to have Whiskey on his project. So, yes, Whiskey been touring, having a very good time. We're seeing the massive crowd. The love and attention has been really crazy for Whiskey. Um, lately, uh, yes, the MIO tour ongoing. It's not one of the dates for the so glamorized um, O2 yet, but the videos were seen online from uh, everywhere he's been to I think to chicago yesterday or so uh that's quite a very um interesting one for whiskey it really shows that indeed when they say this is a whiskey year sometimes fc's are actually not um exaggerating it seemed to be a whiskey year yes so anyways whiskey sometime came up on his ig story to say um sec uh, the next album 50 percent done and of course, that would be bringing questions to write. I mean, he just dropped a deluxe, but trust me, he said that, you know, all he does is work. He just gets into the studio and keep recording and recording. And so he's made us understand that there's a new one uh, album, maybe come next year, <laughs> maybe come next two years. But if there's one thing we know, which is done, 50% done with a particular um, album, you know, he will be releasing um, next. And of course, um, we know P2J happens to be one of those producers that works with Whiskey. was um, the hit song, Essence, of course, P2J. Uh, worked with it alongside the um, legendary beats here in Nigeria. But uh, this time I post a picture uh, and his IG story I says at P2J Music, more bangers with a fire emoji, love, and all of that. So, yes, that's to make us know that you know, P2J is going to be back on this, on the next project of Whiskey coming. Of course, to looking at the you know hits they've made in the past, so definitely this is not one that is coming by surprise. But, yeah, just to let you guys know uh, the idea of the kind of songs, the kind of um, 
producer, as you'll be seeing, P2J will be on it. Maybe another song, sort of SS type or something. Anyways, uh, that's what we've seen. Whiskey has been working, still working amidst the tour. And one of those working with him is actually P2J. And so far, that's been the only, uh, you know, producer. He's not even confirmed if there's any features. The first person he's talking about having on this project is P2J. Mm, okay. So now let's end up this news with Naira Mali, the Malian president herself. Uh, well, Naira Mali being in the news lately. Uh, a lot of our Nigerian artists have been having tour in the US and all the part of, you know, Cube and all of that. We've seen different people from himself. There's a whiskey, there's um, Bella Smuda, there's Rema, there's, there's quite everybody. Everybody's outside, but it's just at the outside of the country. Yes. But um, trust me, the, during the weekend, yes, a video came up of somebody saying that there, there was, uh, you know, one of the events uh, normally headlined was Kanti. And it went on to say that, you know, artists giving uh, their shows to, you know, work promoters. And this, of course, generated conversations. People were giving what the reasons might be but first the person posted a video um think this on twitter and goes on to say this is what happens when an artist gives his show to work promoters empty naramali show in new york what a shame okay anyways um this is some of the comments someone says a uh, sweat pan to a concert naramali is crazy okay seems very on brand for him uh the guy that wears jeans on a regular day would why would he wear surprise jeans? But okay, so, so many people are giving. So it says, um, normally concert in New York was empty, like that guy said. Someone says, please, someone, someone should confirm. And so it's, uh, okay, lo, no, it wasn't. What they posted was hours before they came. Check Pokoli and uh, NMI, NMIG. That person came too early, didn't come till after three, and it was full. It's that blog move too fast it was making things cannot be through okay so there's a lot of people coming from another angle someone talking about his dressing not nice for a performance anyways why some other person says um she's not going to believe that she needs someone who is there to confirm and someone is coming up to say well the person who made that video came pretty early and he didn't come up until about 3 p.m and if we could check ig story of the likes of pokoli and some others who were present at the event you did see that that was a different story entirely i think i came across that of pokoli story and yes it showed that well it was a packed event but anyways uh that's why we totally maybe we should just agree with simi that not everything we actually see online we should give attention to yeah but, i mean it did always make the news and of course we would always have access to it and talk about it so guys this is the end of us news if you're new to gusto tv do click on the subscribe button and as well on the notification bell so you're notified whenever we drop a new video tell me in the comment section what you think about this news we'll be right there to respond to some of your comments guys keep telling people about gusto tv keep sharing as well and of course i'll see you on the next news bye